At the beginning of chapter 3123, Tinsley teases Elora about her overly meticulous approach to hiring a chef, reminding her that it is a culinary test, not a search for a husband. Elora, despite being somewhat impressed with Tatum's snacks, remains indifferent to him as a person since they have not yet met. Tatum, who hails from Wilston in Province G, is geographically far from their home in Annenberg, Province X, but Tinsley points out that distance is irrelevant if the chef can meet their high culinary standards. Elora expresses her ongoing frustration with her inability to find a chef who can consistently satisfy her demanding palate. She laments that she's constantly switching chefs because they fail to meet her expectations after some time. Despite her fondness for fine dining, she acknowledges her own delicious mouth, referring to her unique ability to detect even the slightest flaws in the meals prepared for her. It's a trait that makes her difficult to please and results in a regular turnover of chefs in the Ormond household. As the conversation continues, Tinsley comments that she found Tatum's snacks quite delicious, despite him admitting he wasn't particularly skilled at making snacks. Elora, still skeptical, attributes her enjoyment to being hungry at the time. However, she acknowledges that if the snacks weren't genuinely good, she wouldn't have eaten them, even in her hunger. This sparks a small glimmer of hope in Elora, as she begins to wonder whether Tatum's full course meals could meet her high standards. With this cautious optimism, she decides to move forward with Tatum's retest. She calls the family butler to inform him that Tatum is to be brought in for the re-examination the following afternoon. She insists that Tatum must prepare the entire meal himself from start to finish without any assistance. She further instructs the butler to oversee the process to ensure that Tatum isn't cutting corners or receiving help from others. The butler, fully aware of Elora's standards, reassures her that no cheating will occur and that if Tatum's food fails to meet her expectations, he will be dismissed immediately. Elora's command to the butler sets the tone for the high-stakes dinner. She plans to return home for the meal, during which Tatum will be expected to prepare a dish worthy of satisfying her famously picky tastes. The Ormond family, known for their culinary traditions and gourmet preferences, places heavy pressure on any new chef to perform well. And Tatum's future employment depends entirely on his performance in this critical meal. Meanwhile, the scene shifts to Tatum's perspective. He receives a phone call from the butler, informing him of the retest scheduled for the next day. The news gives him a sense of relief as it confirms that he has passed the first stage of the interview. The butler congratulates him and instructs him to send a list of ingredients he will need for the retest, emphasizing that Elora only accepts the freshest ingredients. The butler warns Tatum that even the slightest imperfection in the quality of the ingredients will be detected by Elora's discerning palate. He remains composed throughout the conversation, maintaining his professionalism. He asks to exchange WhatsApp information with the butler so he can later send a detailed list of the ingredients required for the meal. The butler agrees and instructs him to search for his mobile number on WhatsApp. After they exchange contacts, he assures the butler that he will send the ingredient list shortly. The call ends with a polite exchange and Tatum turns his attention to preparing for the next day's challenge. Now. In the solitude of his hotel room, he reflects on the task ahead. Despite the pressure, he remains calm and focused. After making himself a cup of tea, he sets to work on crafting the perfect ingredient list for the retest. His calm demeanor suggests confidence, but there is also a quiet tension in the air 
as he understands the gravity of the challenge ahead.